of everybody. John Boyle, do you have a question for Bobby? Bobby, uh, congrats on that, first of all. Just um, the way you and your defense responded, what, what can that do? I know maybe the fourth quarter wasn't what you wanted, but the first three quarters were, were pretty dominant. What, what can that performance do for you guys moving forward? Uh, I just think it, it uh, gives us confidence. Um, it shows the guys what we're capable of um, doing a night in, night out basis. And, um, you know, it kind of just sets a standard and, you know, something that uh, we need to continue to improve on. But, um, like I said, I think it was a, a good step in the right direction. And along those lines, to, to take that good step and now know you're adding, you know, Jamal Adams, Pete says he's going to practice today. You're adding Carlos Dunlap. Just to, to kind of get that building block and then add a bunch of pieces. How, how exciting is that? Yeah, it was really big, especially for, uh, you know, a lot of our younger guys um, to get out there and, and perform the way that we did. But um, like you said, we have a lot of guys coming back. We're getting healthy. And so it's a really good time to, uh, to be getting healthy. Jen? Josh Allen is a unique quarterback. First, does he compare to anybody that you've played against recently? And second, how do you make sure that you stop him, particularly on some of those third down plays where he can just rush for the first down? Um, I don't know if he compares to anybody um, that we played recently, but um, you know he's, he does a really good job. He, he, he can get the ball out of his hands. He can make all the throws. And then, like you said, on third downs, uh, it's a reason why they're one of the top um, offices on third down because he, he makes the right play, whether it's with his feet or throwing the ball. You know, he's, he's making really good decisions. And so uh, something that we just have to be on and understand, um, you know, what he's trying to get done because, uh, you know, he, he definitely ignites that team the way he plays. AJ. So, Bobby, I know it's so exciting to get Jamal back, to get Carlos in there. Um, what is the kind of work part of that, too, with reintegrating players or integrating for the first time players that haven't played in this system and uh, haven't played with you guys? Um, I, I just think it's just communication. I think it's just, um, you know, for Jamal, it's getting back to, you know, communicating, getting back to the calls. Um, you know, making being really uh, active on the checks that we're making as far as uh, Dunlap, we just gotta, you know, kind of get him activated. But he's a he's a pro, and so you know, we came on a walkthrough. Um, he already was studying plays. He already knows everything, and you know, me and KJ will help him out there on the field, so he'll be fine. When did you first start talking to Dunlap? I mean, as soon as the, the news was announced, what's been your relationship with him so far? Yeah, I mean, we we've uh, you know we crossed paths a, a few times because uh, of the Pro Bowl, and uh, you know as soon as I we signed him, uh, I got his number and I texted him, and we've just been chopping it up since then. Michael Sean Dugar. So Bobby, um, do you remember your uh, first impressions meeting Russell? Uh, Wilson. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was in Florida. At IMG, um, I, I don't think I knew anything about him, and I don't think he knew anything about me. But um, you know, he seemed like a really, really nice guy, a really cool guy, and and uh, it was just crazy that we ended up uh, getting drafted to the same team. Did you guys were actually training, like doing stuff together, or was it like separate at IMG? No, nah, we. I mean, we weren't. I mean, he's a quarterback, so I wasn't doing quarterback drills, but. Um, we were training there for the uh, the combine, and so I was there for a little bit. But then I, I went to Arizona because I really I wasn't really feeling the East Coast. Thanks, Jackie. Hey, Bobby. Congrats on your award. Thank um, you. You mentioned Josh Allen and his mobility. Looking at the run game as a whole, what stands out to you with how they're using Singletary and Moss? Uh, I think they do a really good job with their, their gap schemes, um, trying to get the edge. They do a lot of stretch plays. Um, they try to find a softness in your defense. And then uh, just when you think you, know, you have them figured out, they throw in a, a quarterback stretch or um, you know, a quarterback draw. So it's just something that you have to play honest and you have to do your job. You have to be disciplined uh, because they're going to, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to have a, a different one run that we haven't seen on film yet. And so if we play our keys and do everything right, we'll be, we'll be okay. But we have to, um, you know, we see what they, they see what we see. So we have to expect, um, you know, for them to kind of switch it up. Thank you. Matt Calkins. Hey, Bobby, we know Pete's a real rah-rah type coach. And, you know, when new players come in, they speak really highly of him, just the way that he's able to affect them with his, uh, with his energy. Nine years in, does it still have the same effect on you, or um, it's a little bit different now? 
No, it still has the same effect because, you know, he's, he's getting older and, and you think at some point he's going to slow down and he, and he doesn't slow down. And he's, you know, still out there running around, still uh, trying to play basketball. Um, and so it, it's still, you know, it gives you something to look forward to because if, if you take care of your body, you can run around like that. So um, it's still inspiring for sure. Uh, it's cool. It's cool. You know, he's not, you know, you kind of get around him a little bit. Uh, you know, you beat him with the quick step. Greg Bell. Bobby, are you or the guys concerned about Bourne's positive test and, and all of that and what might the trickle down be? Um, I mean, I, I'm not concerned about it. Um, I don't think I was around him um, too much. And from my knowledge, I, I think. Um, there hasn't been a positive test uh, from in-game, you know, in the in-game thing. So, you know, I think we're fine. I don't think it's something that we worry about. I think everybody is really careful. We do it the right way here. So, um, you know, I think I think it'd be fine. You talked to us back, I think it was in May or something, about how self-discipline is going to be the key to this whole thing and, and everyone doing the right thing. Are you surprised you guys haven't even had a single positive test since July, since this all started? No, I'm not surprised because I feel like, you know, everybody everybody here takes it pretty serious. And, um, you know, I think our state is doing a pretty good job um, as far as I know. And, you know, I feel like the team is doing a great job. You know, I think they're really on it and everybody's conscious of it. And we understand what's at stake. We understand, um, you know, we, we play with people's lives and, and you don't want to do that. Ben? What's up, Bobby? Uh, what are your thoughts on how Jordan Brooks has come along the last few weeks? He, um, you know, got in the starting lineup. I think that the Cowboys game, but got banged up, was kind of set back a bit, but has seemed to, you know, get sideline to sideline well for you guys showing off that speed. Just what are your impressions of, the, of what he's done for you guys? Um, I think he's doing really well. Um, I think he's, you know, grabs the defense really well. I think obviously you see the splash plays. You see, you know, the ability that he has to to be smart, make those plays, and and we have to take into consideration. Um, you know, he he missed pretty much all of OTAs. Um, you know, the, the preseason wasn't a normal preseason, so it was a lot different um, of transition. You know, going to college to the NFL for him than, than most rookies. And so I think he's handled that adjustment really well. And, you know, me and KJ are going to do everything we can to, um, you know, kind of keep bringing him along. Thank you. Last one for WAGS, Brady Anderson. Hey, Bobby, uh, we've got let Russ Cook and uh, wondering what you think about let Bobby blitz. Um, I love it. I mean, I'm, I'm all for blitzing. I have fun blitzing. I think it, it works out really well. So. Um, I'm always for a blitzing. I'm always telling them to blitz me more, but you know, I do whatever the coaches tell me to do. The the, the rate that you guys blitzed that uh, Sunday, I believe it was the most blitzing that you've done in any game since 2010. Is do you think that rate is sustainable, just given what that you know the the downside potential downside of blitzing that much? I mean, I, I can blitz that much for for the rest of my career for sure. So if, if they want to do that, I'm I'm all for it. But uh, you know, I think. Every game is different. You know, every week is different. You got to approach it differently. So you can't do everything. You can't do the same thing every every uh, game. So, um, you know, but hopefully I keep listening. Thank you. Thanks, Bobby. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Hey, DK, pick your head up.